Every day, more than 1 million firearms are manufactured around the entire world, and among all of them, there is one that dominates with brutal difference – the pistol. They are the most used, the most trafficked, and the ones responsible for more than 250,000 deaths every single year. But have you ever wondered how they are truly manufactured? How is it possible that a machine the size of your hand shoots projectiles with so much destructive power? Well then, today we will travel to the largest pistol factories on the planet, where every day more than 7,000 firearms are produced, ready to supply police forces, armies, and armed civilians of more than 130 countries. So, get ready, because you are about to discover how one of the planet's most lethal weapons is mass-manufactured. Let's begin. Step number one, design and materials. A modern pistol must be extremely precise, ultralight, resistant, fast, and lethal. And all that, concentrated in a device smaller than a tablet, Colt, Beretta, and Glock, three giants of the arms world with distinct philosophies, unique designs, and one single obsession to create a perfect weapon that will not fail even in the most extreme scenario. In the engineering center, hundreds of ballistics experts use latest generation 3D software to model with surgical precision more than 50 different parts. The barrel, the slide, the frame, the safety, the firing system, and even the magazine. But the key is not only in the design, but also in the materials. For example, the barrel is manufactured from chrome molybdenum steel, a metal used also in combat aircraft, capable of withstanding more than 35,000 PSI without deforming. That is triple the pressure that an airplane tire supports upon takeoff, a genuine brutality. In contrast, the frame can be built in aeronautical aluminum, stainless steel, or military-grade polymer, like that of the Glocks, designed to resist extreme heat, impacts, and drops without breaking or bending. Each batch of material arrives in certified blocks and sheets. And before touching a single machine, it is analyzed by systems that detect even cracks and defects invisible to the human eye. A single imperfection here can cause an internal explosion or a misfire in the future weapon, and that cannot be allowed here. Only the metals and polymers that pass all tests are approved and sent to the machining areas, where their true transformation into a lethal weapon will begin. Step number two, cutting and machining of components. It is time to transform tons of material into real components of these combat machines. The large blocks of steel and polymer are moved to one of the most sophisticated areas of the entire plant, the CNC machining area. There, powerful automated machines begin to sculpt with surgical precision the key parts of the weapon. Everything begins with the frame, the skeleton where the entire firing system will be assembled. This part must be carved with extreme precision because on that depends whether the trigger or the magazine respond exactly when you need it. Afterward comes the most critical part, the barrel. A solid cylinder of chrome molybdenum steel is drilled, and inside it is carved the famous helical rifling, spiral grooves that will spin the bullet at thousands of revolutions per second as it is propelled. That spin is what gives stability to the shot and makes it even more lethal. In parallel, other key parts are machined, such as the slide, which in models like the Glock 17 must withstand dozens of explosions per minute without breaking or jamming. Also manufactured are the triggers, safeties, grips, and magazines, many of them in stainless steel or reinforced polymer, capable of feeding up to 17 bullets in less than three seconds. And here, a key detail comes into play. Each part receives a unique serial number engraved by laser. That small code will be registered for life, and it can be the key to solving crimes, tracking stolen weapons, or uncovering illegal trafficking networks. When this step ends, they are no longer shapeless blocks of metal. Now they are real parts of a pistol and ready to become a machine of fire. Step number three, assembly of the firing system. With each component manufactured and verified, it is time to join them and give shape to each pistol. This step is performed completely by hand by specialized technicians who, with ultra-precision tools, join together each small piece of the system. Everything begins with the mounting of the barrel onto the frame, ensuring a perfect alignment with the firing axis. A single error here and the bullet could deviate, miss the target, or worse yet, jam inside the weapon with fatal consequences. Afterward comes the assembly of the firing system, trigger, hammer, firing pin, and safeties. In models like the Beretta M9, this set is so resistant that it can withstand more than 30,000 shots without failing literally a longer useful life than many assault rifles. 
Internal springs and recoil buffers are also installed here, which absorb the brutal force of each shot. Because yes, although it may not seem like it, a pistol generates an internal explosion comparable to a small detonation. Before continuing, each pistol undergoes a dry fire test, where the operators simulate shots without ammunition to verify that everything responds as it should. Only if everything functions with surgical precision will the pistol be able to pass to the next step. Step number four, exterior assembly and finishes. With the entire internal system working perfectly, it is time to give that imposing appearance to each pistol. The hundreds of units are submerged directly in a special chemical solution. This process, known as anodizing, coats the metal with an ultra-resistant protective layer and gives it that characteristic matte black finish. But the result goes far beyond the aesthetic. That coating turns the weapon into a piece practically immune to rust, moisture, and extreme wear from friction. Literally, it makes them indestructible. After this, the mounting of the exterior elements begins. In modern models, the level of personalization is extreme. Tactical flashlights, laser pointers, holographic sights, or weight compensators to reduce recoil can be added. It is like assembling your own pistol in a video game, but here it is real, and each accessory can mark the difference between life and death. Finally, the personalized finishing touches arrive. Unique serial numbers, exclusive models, laser engravings, and, in some cases, special editions with camouflaged finishes, desert tones, or logos of elite units. When everything is in its place, the pistol already has that definitive, robust, and powerful shape. But it is not yet ready to go out into the world. Its most demanding test still awaits it. Step number five, fire and resistance tests. This is where the moment of truth begins. Each unit is taken directly to a testing range, where specialized operators place the pistols in special supports and load real ammunition. There, multiple shots are executed to check three key things, that it does not jam, that the firing system acts fluently, and that each bullet impacts exactly where it should without deviations. Be they Glock, Colt, or Beretta, all must comply with the same relentless standards. No matter the model, if it fails, it is discarded. But this is only the beginning. Some batches are subjected to a torture test where they are covered with dust, submerged in water, struck against metal surfaces, and even so, the weapon must continue functioning like new. Because here they are not manufactured for display cases. They are manufactured to perform in situations where a failure can cost a life. Only the pistols that survive all the checks pass the test and are sent to the final process before leaving the factory. Step number six, cleaning, packaging, and final verification. Each pistol that leaves the check passes directly through a deep cleaning, performed with compressed air and special solvents that eliminate even the most minute particles of powder, oil, and any trace of the previous tests. Once spotless, the packaging begins. Each unit is placed inside a technical mold of high-density foam designed to fit to the millimeter with the exact shape of the pistol. Included alongside it are the magazines, manuals, and in some models, additional accessories such as cleaning kits, optical sights, or tactical flashlights. The entire set is inserted into a rigid case manufactured from ultra-resistant polymer capable of withstanding moisture, drops, extreme temperatures, or even being crushed without breaking. Literally, you could throw it from a helicopter and the pistol would remain like new. Before leaving the area, each package passes a final scan where the contents of each box are verified to be correct. Only then, the pistol is approved and sent to the distribution area, ready to be dispatched to police forces, armed forces, or authorized stores in any part of the world. Step number seven, distribution and final destination. With each pistol ready, all that remains is to take it out of the factory and put it into circulation throughout the world. From the logistics centers, the batches are distributed according to their destination. Some travel in armored trucks under military escort, and others cross continents in sealed containers by air or sea. Everything depends on the model and its final client. Glocks are usually sent to police and security forces in Europe and Latin America. Berettas, in contrast, are common in military environments, especially within Europe. And Colts continue to be the most emblematic short weapon in the United States, used by police, Marines, and even Secret Service agents. And we are not talking about a few units. A single plant can manufacture more than 50,000 pistols per week, a figure that makes clear the colossal power of this industry. To finish, tell us, did you imagine this whole process? Would you like to have one of these machines in your hands? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you liked this video, 
Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and activate the little bell so you don't miss the next factory tour.